Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Data's Joke Weekend Report, episode number 45. And uh, things are pretty good, except for my freaking back. Anyway, let's get on with it. Let's get our coffees ready. Mmm, coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay, brand new thing that I want to announce is this thing. <laughs> a brand new logo. Um, I would like to a super, super duper thank yous to um, Xbox ISO from the Atari VCS Discord group. Um, he uh, mentioned that his son, Andre, uh, is a graphic designer and uh, they were willing to help me out. And uh, <laughs> Andre did an awesome, awesome job. Um I mean, he took all the elements that, you know, that are me and put it into a really cool logo. I mean, one of my favorite arcade games is Gyrus. So Gyrus is the little ship is prominent on the arcade cabinet. That is joke at the top of the marquee. And then Retro Rocking Gamer at the bottom. I mean, what more could I ask for? As soon as I saw it, I fell in love with it. Andre drew it out by hand first. Can you believe that? And so he's a graphic designer, and I'm going to post his uh, uh, his webpage and his LinkedIn. So if anybody wants any logo work done, by all means, contact him. They've done He's done an awesome job. I mean, I fell in love with it almost immediately when I saw it. Um, he, he, I don't know how he did it, but he took what I love and put it out in a picture. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I will post that. And Andre... If you're watching this, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, you, when I saw you, you made my year, honestly. Okay, let's get on with more stuff. So, there was some new games that were released. Uh, let's see here. Ah, before I go into the game releases, uh, Tim Lapidino, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, uh, just announced that he's working for Atari today as the uh, Atari... Uh, uh, the Atari creative director. Uh, current Atari uh, CEO Wade Rosen is doing a good job in hiring competent people who are able, uh, who who know and care about Atari's history. Um, Tim, if I'm not mistaken, it's, it's in the morning, man. Everything I'm not, you know, it's not 100% in my head. But anyway, he's the guy who wrote the art, uh, the art of Atari book. And what, I don't have it. Fuck, I should buy it. Is is such a fantastic book, and I know a lot of you out there have it already, and you know how well the book is. So he is like a huge, huge, you know, acquirement or uh, employed now for Atari, and to keep the history alive of Atari. I mean, it's amazing. Atari's grabbing people, f fans, and people who've got all this stuff, who are just huge in Atari hiring them and using them for, you know, to move the company forward, which is, again, amazing. Mm. Mm. So that's really cool. I'm really excited about that. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's see here. Uh, we are also, uh, what was released this past week was Comp 2 uh the the little story of the little ball uh <clears throat> that was in pong and we got a review coming up shortly i have to do some more editing with it and i will be posting that uh, hopefully sometime today and uh so you can see what i think about it but my initial reactions was yeah y you'll see you'll see you'll see we'll we'll talk about it later also, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, what else do we have here to talk about? <clears throat> uh, comp 2. There was one more. Oh, yeah, here it is. Here it is. Hold on, let's get to it here. So, besides Comp 2 being released, which is very exciting... Also, Cosmic Panic. 
Now, Caustic Panic, uh, I was going to download it yesterday and try it out and again do a review, but there was a little bit of a glitch on the Atari VCS where I couldn't download it or purchase it, just wouldn't let me. Seems like there was a problem with another thing that I'm going to announce. Um, but they're work- they identified the problem and they're working on it. So expect another, uh, another uh, what's it called, uh, review of Cosmic Panic, which is the cool thing about it is it's it's a party game it's a typical sit down four player laugh your ass off have some fun type of game and uh so yeah it, it's amazing it, it looks amazing it, it looks like a lot of fun and it looks like a lot of thought went into the game so that's i'm totally impressed with it um also um let's see here Sorry, guys, that I don't seem 100% uh, organized today. It's just, you know, work and my back pain, and it's just been ugh, been difficult to, to sort all that crap out. Uh, let's go here to announcements. Comp 2. Uh, so, yeah, the Atari, uh, the Atari Club is available on the VCS. Uh, with an impressive 50% of the vote, the community has elected... Uh, VCS integration as the feature they like to see most. Now you can set up a profile, cast your votes, play games for the comfort of your VCS, which is very cool. Also, another game that got released is Annihilation. is a top-down uh, arcade shooter from Tree Fall Studios. Uh, defend your base from waves of enemy that spawn in random variations for endless fun. Try to earn high scores and go for the perfect scores. Grab a friend and fight off waves of enemy together in a special co-op mode or go head-to-head in versus mode. Prepare for the onslaught in Annihilation, which is another cool thing. Um, So things are coming out, but it's funny. um, The thing I'm noticing when there's no games announced or no games that people are waiting for, things get out of hand on the Atari uh, uh, VCS Discord. All kinds of crap starts flying around, blah, blah, blah. Once new games are announced and are available, everybody shuts the hell up. Somebody give me an answer to that, please. Like, we should all not be... Like, I mean, just because there's no new game, we shouldn't be tearing each other apart. Plain and simple. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see here. Well, that I think that's a... It, folks there isn't really there wasn't really much oh another thing is the atari um uh what's it called the atari uh stock i've been following not the one on the on the french exchange the gac i've been following it on nasdaq and net has been moving around that's pong ev so any of you american friends who want or even canadian we can buy from uh buy stock from nasdaq um or anybody across the world i guess i don't know um yeah, uh, there's it's moving up. You know, if you want to make a little bit of money, look, I'm no stock guy. I'm no Wall Street guy, but things are looking cool. As a layman and as a Atari fan and as as whatever, things are moving up, and that's very exciting. So, you know, if you want to do it, I just have to open up a bloody account. And once I open up that bloody account, then uh, and then uh, then I can hope for it to go up. Uh, let's see here. What else was there? There was a few other things that I wanted to talk about, but you know what? Being disorganized doesn't help much. Well, I'm going to call it a show today because I have so much video editing to do still. I got some voiceover work to do. So, gang, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm really happy about this logo. Yay. And uh, that's it. We'll see you next week, hopefully with a lot more stuff. Hopefully, I will be a lot more organized. Hopefully, my fucking back won't hurt anymore. And uh, we'll call it a day. Anyways, everybody, take care, and we'll see you later. Bye now.